Now, as I said, I just got four slides. This is the second one. The third slide is something which I want to share in terms of when I do the developing part of it. So it's a very, very simple exercise on achieving goals. So it's a concept which I, everyone has got a goals, yes? Everyone has got a goal? Yes or no? Yes. yes. So what I've, what, what I've tried to do here is try and find out what are three key steps of achieving any goal. This is something which I've built. You can take it, you can use it, you can change it, it's up to you. The three steps are skill set, practice set, mindset. Skill set is all about gaining immense knowledge. When you're trying to build a skill for, a, for achieving a goal, you're trying to build as much knowledge as you can. Second point is you try and revisit the proven strategy. Something someone has already done in their life, why do you want to change it? Why do you want to reinvent it? Try and replicate it. So that, that is what I mean by revisiting proven strategy. Third is hire a coach. Now can someone tell me very, very quickly, what is the difference between a coach and maybe, maybe a teacher? Don't take it in the wrong sense, but just I, I just wanted to have some sort of a feedback. Yes, quickly. Yeah, 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 that's okay. Just quickly. Very short, yeah, please. Yeah. Typically, a coach or a performance coach helps you explore your potential, yeah. helps you identify the areas where you can excel, yep. where perhaps you have not been able to do over a period of time. Great. And on the flip side, for a teacher, is something, it's just the teaching where there's a stipulated curriculum which needs to be followed. Great. And the teacher teaches you through that curriculum yeah. with a formative or a summative assessment towards the end of it. Yeah. Great, great, so great. That's no. one line of difference, perhaps. Perfect. Now, with due respect, don't take me wrong. What I'm trying to say here is a teacher can be a coach. A coach can be a teacher. Coach is someone who is going to not handhold you. He or she is going to come and disappear. When you need him or her, they will appear. Give you the direction, go away. So they believe in you. They believe in your potential. So always try and find someone who is really good in terms of pushing you to the next level. So that is all about skill set. The next set, sorry, the next uh, step is practice set. How many of you have heard knowledge is power? Knowledge is power. Okay. How many agree knowledge is power? Okay. I slightly disagree. Knowledge is only potential power. Application of knowledge is the key. So you might be having lots of knowledge, but if you don't apply, it's not going to give the desired outcome or the desired goal. The second thing which I've written is beat your personal best. Instead of focusing here and here, you should be aware what's going on here and here. When I say here and here, I'm talking about the competition. So you should be aware of what's going on here and here, but you should always be focused on beating your personal best. Third point, unlearn and relearn. You have to unlearn certain things which are not valid in today's point of time and relearn certain new things which is going in the current trend. So IT is a very good example of it. Now, skill set, practice set, combine, I only give it 20%. The remainder is mindset. Mindset is all about, you will be getting confused, to be honest with you. When you're trying to achieve a new goal, you will be getting confused. Why? Because you're getting information from so many different sources in today's world that it is a overload of information. But guess what? It's not information overload. It is filter failure. You should never cut off the information. You, you should try and accept the information, but then you should try and filter it out. Okay? So treat confusion as your best friend so that you can march towards clarity. The more clear you are, the more you will be driven and focused in terms of achieving your goals. That's it from my side. I think I'm on time, yeah? Uh, so thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the session, and uh, I look forward to meeting you in person. Thank you very much.